Uh, hi friends, I'm Sourav. In this video, I'm going to show how to back off MySQL database and how to restore MySQL database and how to create MySQL user and grand, grand privilege. Okay. So, let's start. Oh, this is my MySQL server. So, right. So, first of all, Uh, I'll show first of all. So here is some data. I'll just delete it. So first of all, I'll log in my password. Password. That is my friend. So I'll show the database. Database. Databases. So you can see here this uh, by default database in my MySQL server. So now I'm just do one thing. Just copy here my server IP. Create so my IP. So then login. You can see officially from here. Right? So it's now there is five database in my MySQL server. So, I'm um, just do one thing. I am just create a database. So, create a database. Let's name it WordPress. WordPress. So, yes, that's good. You can see here. My database come, yes, database come here. So right now you can see that is my database created, but database table and database int is empty, right? So now I am exit from here right now. So okay. So I have to back off. And I, first of all, I am just to back off my MySQL database. So and input the WordPress. Okay, so so how to uh, how to back up my school database right now? You can see I have my Notepad. So if you want to back up, then common is my SQL dump user username u for username p and p for password database name. And if you want to file name, so what do save that file name? The name of the backup dump file to do you want to generate it? Okay, so let's start. I'm just two or three. Now back off my SQL dump user user root password and send down to my SQL database. Command I am showing that I want to back off MySQL database and name MySQL underscore backup to display right now hit enter type password okay now you can see you can see the database backup is stuff that is my database MySQL database backup right So now I am just do one thing that is my dump file. So I want to dump file restore here WordPress WordPress here, right? So right now you can see that my database is empty. So now I am to restore. Restore MySQL database restore command that is MySQL minus U user P and database name. What is and 
my skill. My skill. Back up. Five. In this command, that is the my skill command, the root for user and key for password. And that is my WordPress database that is empty. So I want to just buy my restore my SQL back of SQL in what so now I sit down now you can see I am just click on my WordPress that's my whole database come here so that is very fine so you can easily back off CLI from one database to another database right now, if you want to, you know, you want to hold database back of the MySQL server, and you use that command. If you want to hold database, you just MySQL dump, right? User for user and people pass, people pass on. MySQL all database. I, I want to back up all database so that's why all database and the name all database and that bit and name that for a better understand backup so now enter type password so now it will be done okay you can see that so that is my old database backup in my script server right you can do it so now, now uh, my next step is how to create MySQL user and get privilege. I'm just log out from here, right? So right now I'm logging the root user, right? Root user. So I don't want to access root user. I don't. I I am create another user. So. So that, that time, what I do, I start. Then, um, so how to create MySQL user? So now, first of all, I just log in MySQL. Group. MySQL database. Password, yes, okay. So, I'm just do one thing just copy from that user and I am just just comment. Now you can see, create a user, the username is Ignitum, right, and the local host identify by the that is my password, right, skills dinner center at one. Okay, so technical is my username, okay. And skill Linux is my password. Okay, so I'm just just copy and uh, paste. Okay, now I am just grant privilege. So I have my database name. So first of all, I create a database. So I'm that is grant privilege. So I create database technical database it's created so you can show that so database database sets yes technical database sets right so now i am just created that grand privilege okay so I'll copy here from my list it is my database so i want to privilege only for this technical my database user and local host okay so let me enter so now i'm just class fields and that command is, uh, that command is just only for mysql server it's done now i'm just take this from here so now i'm just logging my technical user so my username technical so right copy from here and just paste okay and password is that 
फिर लिनक्स see that I have flogging that but that there is a no others database that is only for one database technical database right okay again you can log in so again you can also log in the root user and also password then you can pick all database because that is root user right but when you are logging the technical user technical user that then then you cannot see any other status only so to technical user scroll login and see here one database so right so in this step you can see you can see that uh, how to create mysql database user and how to back up mysql database and how to restore and you can if you want to all database backup so we can do it so that is my all command okay so thank you for watching if my video is helpful to you then please like and subscribe